Hey guys, this is Rang Bande back again. And in last lecture, I have told you how to fill the color inside the circle. Now, uh, if I want to fill the color outside the circle, then what I have to I have to do? Let us see. We just have to change the seed point. So since I am uh, in the previous in the previous class, we have used the seed points 200, 200, which is inside the circle. Now I have to change um, choose up. Uh, seed point which is outside the circle so since the, mm, the the seed point which is outside the circle mm, is 400 comma 400 you can choose any other and so now let us run it and we will see that the that the filling will be done outside the circle so that 9 and you have seen it is filling outside the circle now let us make an ellipse now I am going to teach you an ellipse in this in this lecture I am not going to so how to build an ellipse clear it now I have chosen set color function I have been assigning value is equal to yellow so everything I am going to draw will be in yellow color so ellipse Ellipse, oh. ellipse, and in the case of ellipse, we have to assign its center. Let us assign its center is equal to hundred comma hundred. Then we have to assign its starting angle, that is zero. Ending angle, that is equal to three sixty. Since I am going to make the complete ellipse, if you don't want, you can vary it from zero to anywhere from between zero to three sixty. Now we have to give it. So, I mean minor axis mm, let us assign it 40 and it's same in major axis let us assign it 60 and then go and run this oh it's running so you have now uh, now you can make an ellipse now I'm going to teach you how to make a rectangle and these all things just like a line, a circle, a pixel or a rectangle are the basic output primitives we can make anything with by using these so I am going to first build a rectangle rectangle T A N G L E. now we have to assign its for x coordinate mm, the first point's x coordinate A for example we have rectangle A, B, C and D so then we have to assign its diagonal diagonal uh, coordinates. First we have to assign A, then we have to assign the coordinates of C. So let us assign coordinates of A is equal to 10, comma uh, 50, 50, and the coordinates of uh, C um, to something um, 150. From 200, and let us see what is happening. Wow, it's a rectangle with x coordinate is equal to 50, comma 50, and mm, mm, the a coordinate having value of 50, comma 50, and the c coordinate having the value of 150, comma 200. Now, if we want to fill some color in it, we can again use the previous function. Set fill style. Fill style. Mm. And solid fill. Then assign the fill value. And I'm going to assign it blue. Blue. So blue. Oh, oh. Blue. And now I have to give its boundary value in the flood function. Flood fill function. Flood fill and flood fill, and we have to find a point which is inside. So a value. Of, we know that the mm, that the leftmost corner of the our screen having value zero comma zero. And when we move downward, the y coordinates value is increased, and when we move from left to right, the x coordinate increase. So we increase our mm, the coordinates of a, the x coordinate of a by one. So it is 51, let us assign value 51 and the y coordinate by 1 since we are going downward to fill 
to move inside the our rectangle so that it the flood field function will fill inside the rectangle and then we have to give our boundary value that is yellow and now I am going to run it to show you whether it is working or not and it is working since its boundary value is yellow and we have assigned the set value the flood set value set fill style function the value of color to be blue that's why it's is in blue and you can make your um, country's flag by using this um, function and anything you want to make okay bye that's all for today